Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I'll tell you how I'm doing. Not well, bitch. That's the holy whore. Jealous of what? Your ugly leather pants? Should I bow to you? Okay. Damn it. Bad weather, tornado, spin the truth, destroy. <laughs> Hello Beverly Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills. Guys, I have some Persian tea for you today. But before we get into it, like always, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot. If you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troop, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell right here. And let's talk about this mess. Guys, Shots of sunsets. What is happening right now? This group is so broken that it kind of make me sad because we have been seeing them for nine years. Well, and by we, I mean you, because you know that I just, I have to binge watch the whole show in like, it took me what, like four months probably. But now I, I'm invested, you know? <clears throat> so I have all the memories fresh because I watch everything. And this is such a group with such an, a past. And I cannot help but wonder if like they, do they realize that they are throwing away years of friendship over a reality show? You know what I mean? But I guess in like money talks or fame or whatever. Now, this whole situation between Mike and Reza and Destiny and I mean, Ugh, it just went to a whole other level. Now, Mike is going around saying that Reza is using Destiny to try to portray him as a woman beater. Girl, look, it's so hard. In this case, it's so hard to talk bad about anyone because I really love all of our shots. But Mike... You have been caught cheating multiple times for years, okay? At this point, I know, I think that what Gonessa was saying is true and that Mike is not into monogamous relationship. And I don't know why it's so hard for him to acknowledge that instead of keeping cheating and hurting these girls you know like first jessica which jessica was a little bitch so i was like whatever you know but now paulina which i actually think that paulina is a very nice girl you know but the way he is uh, mike is a typical manipulating person you know she has a manipulative personality when it comes to relationships i'm not saying he is a horrible person he's a very nice person i mean i mean i feel like like in person he he might be there for you he will give you help you when he can you know and stuff like that but relationship wise i don't know why he enjoys so much her the people he love allegedly the most you know so it's not that I don't, I mean, this whole situation, like Reza using Destiny, it just, I feel honestly, it was like such in a whole paranoia move. Okay, so let's go one by one. If you remember the last episode, right? Uh, they went, uh, the Halloween episode, I'm sorry, not the last one, but the Halloween episode when like everything went down. I personally, honestly, I didn't feel that the questions were directed at Mike. You know, I feel like I have the same games with my friends and it actually have the same questions and they are very like regular, like meant to be funny questions. Like I don't, I don't see them as like, oh, they were actually directed to Mike, but Mike make them be directing to him by thinking and being so paranoid that everything is about him. He, I feel that he is so into his own shit, you know, like he doesn't know how, he has created this web of lies 
that he doesn't know how to control anymore. And that's why he is so paranoid all the time. You know, thinking that everyone is talking about him, thinking that everyone is trying to ruin his relationship, you know? I mean, that's the only thing that I can say as a viewer. You know, I'm not right there. I'm not inside uh, their friendships, you know, 24-7. But that's what I'm seeing in the, in, 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 the, in the reality show. Now, Mike went so far uh, the, because he, he was responding to a lot of tweets, you know, and a random fan was literally saying that Destiny was like making up the stalker, the stalker history out of nowhere. Why would she do that? Honestly. And just because something happened to you doesn't mean that you have to go around talking about it all the time, you know? So I, I actually, when, when Destiny talked about that, I was like, wow, I mean, this is like a powerful thing, you know, because a lot of people go through that. And Mike went on the tweet to basically like this person's tweet and respond to it saying history, that the, that the story came out of nowhere. So basically he is saying or he, that he thinks that maybe uh, Destiny is also lying you know and now it's using this whole narrative of like everyone is against me and now everyone wants to to make the world believe that i'm this like women uh bitter or like you know abusive uh husband i don't think that mike is physically abusive toward women but I do feel that he is emotionally abusive toward women. And we have seen it before. And we see it. With, we saw it with Jessica. You know. And we saw how he wants to control all the situations. And like whatever. You know. Like th these girls couldn't do anything if it was what he wanted to do. You know. Remember that reunion when Mike didn't let Jessica win? You know. Or how many times, or even here with Paulina, how many times is like, no, she's not going to do that. No, she's not going to come. No, she's, she doesn't feel comfortable. She doesn't do this. She doesn't do that. That's emotionally abusing a person right there. Okay. The jealousy and the, and the paranoia. And look, I can say if he is being physically abusive because there is no proof of that. But so many things can lead to that, you know. And I don't know why Paulina is putting up with this shit. Either she is, she has the Estocolm syndrome, you know, or, you know, or maybe she's just in it for the fame and the reality show. I have no idea, you know, because it's, it's very hard to, to watch a woman be treated like this. But if it's even worse when you see that the girl doesn't do anything. Because you cannot help someone who doesn't want to get help. You know what I mean? Um, I just feel like my, Mike is full of bullshit at this point. You know? And I know that Reza is not an angel. I know that Reza can... He knows how to play the game. You know? And he, he will do shit when he needs to do shit. But on this one, I do not feel that Reza has anything to do with it. To be honest. I feel that this is Mike, like I said, web of lies is just crumbling down and it's going to end up badly. Now, there are rumors, you know, even like th that this will be Mike's last season. He even said it himself at the beginning of this season. He said something like the, the goodbye season or the, the last season or something like that. He put I did a video about it. Um... I honestly, I feel like Mike is getting, is getting tired of this, you know, and uh, he, I don't think he's going to change. I don't think he's going to wake up magically one day and be like a better person. Um, it is what it is. You know, I feel that this is him finally saying like, I don't want to deal with this shit anymore. I don't want to deal with people telling me what to do anymore or how I have to behave. And which is sad, you know, that, that people around you who love you are trying to help you and you just don't give a shit, you know. Um, but it is what it is. I don't know. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, do you think that Mike is 
a woman beater and that he is abusing Paulina that what do you think I mean what do you see let me know guys and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel guys and I'll see you around see ya bye